Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be watching from. Oops, I need to silence that phone. If you are catching this part of the video, you may be catching the replay. So if you would put explanation mark replay, you'll get a greeting from me. And thank you for being here. And let me just silence my phone. There we go. All right. And if you would, I'm on just a couple of minutes early, so... Um, to give uh, Sherry a moment to find me and get me shared over into both the groups. Uh, this is a Creating All Things event that Miss Sherry and I do quarterly. Uh, and of course the theme is different each quarter. So it has been an amazing day. I hope y'all have been able to be a part of that and see all the wonderful creation and let me get it up on my computer so I can see who is joining me. Let's see. I can't see. Refresh my screen here. Oops. Oh, what happened? I don't think I have my screen down here good. Okay, there we go. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, let me get to... Oh, and I'm still on my personal side over here. All right, I have to share, I was sharing the latter half of the people over into the group, so I have to do it from my personal page. Um, okay, here we go. So y'all, if you would, go ahead and do all the things and sprinkle this out, which means that right over my shoulder, and if you would, put this in the comments, and here we go. Now we're getting it up. So do this and put this in the comments. All right. Hello, Elizabeth. Oh, goodness. We have so many on already. Let's see. Teresa Cherry, Dixie Beck, Barbara Polston, and Darlene. Let me increase my font so I don't have to squint. Hello, Miss Barbara Ferguson and Miss Sherry Patterson. Thank you for getting me sprinkled over into both the groups, uh, which is also co-hosted by Craft Around the Clock. And so you can um, watch replays and all the things in that group or Creating All Things, which is the group that Miss Sherry and I have. And again, we do quarterly um, events like this. Um, hello, Miss Jerry. Hello, 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 Nadia. Hello, Patty. Thank you all for being here. Okay, so I have prepped already. And, um, and also, if y'all are new, if you would put explanation mark new in the comments. This uh, item will be auctioned off the last five minutes or so of uh, today. And I'm the last person today, by the way. And so I will close this out, okay? So we're going to be using a tile, and I've already prepped this tile. And you all know these are found at Dollar Tree. I keep, I keep a good four or five of these in stock. And uh, you find them in the automotive section, typically, of Dollar Tree. And I'm using a plus sign wood form at Dollar Tree. This one was $3. Okay. And I think it's like a 12 by 12. Yeah, 12 by 12. Okay. So that's what I'm using. Then I am going to use this napkin, or Queen Bee, which is from Amazon. And also, if you do sprinkle this out, you can do it up to three times to get on spin the wheel for a bundle of napkins, which the queen bee will be one of them, okay? And our bee here, our honey bee in the wreath here. And these three herb napkins, sage, basil, and thyme. And then I have one other one here, which is a smaller cocktail napkin, is the honey and the honeybees with the little wreath. So that will be Happy Mail to one person. And again, if we get 50 sprinkles tonight, which is never a problem, okay? Now, if we have two, if we have 100 sprinkles tonight, I will do two winners, okay? That's how it works. So, all right, so I've already prepped this. And so what I did is I'm going to use the inside of my wood form. Now, what I did was I used a, a yardstick, or not a yardstick, but a 12-inch stick, and I measured it, the opening here. So I took my opening like this, and I marked it with the red pen, and then I marked it down this side, 
And so I marked it like this. And then I used my ruler to draw my line. Okay, and we're going to cut this out on my red line. And hopefully it fits perfectly inside my wood form. Now, y'all, I'm not going to be paying a lot of attention to the comments because i got a lot to do in that 45 minutes. I know I'm the last person, and I will try to keep my craft also within 45 minutes, just like everybody else. And thank you all who have, <clears throat> have been there to watch everybody today. I know it's cold. A lot of people are stuck inside anyway. So thank you. Thank you all for being there for each and every one. I think it was an awesome event. I loved everything everybody did. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Thank y'all so much. So I've already prepared my wood form with uh, painting the edge and a little bit on the inside where the napkin is going to go so that that napkin shows up true to form. It's been a great day, yes. And, you know, the thing is, is that we're helping. Uh, everybody has auctioned off their items very graciously to help a single mom that had a stroke right after starting her new job. Had a stroke at the, and uh, she, she just had a, a new job at the bank. And uh, so her, she didn't have insurance yet. Okay, so now this um, backside comes off of this. Okay, now I've already used my X-Acto knife. And you see the center? So I'm cutting this square out to show more of the napkin. Now last year, um, uh, last year, right before Christmas, well, it was Halloween time. I kept seeing a pumpkin that I did that I covered in this. And every time it would come up when somebody was commenting on it, I was seeing this this little triangle area here as cutting that out and putting something behind it. So I started doing this last year by making a peekaboo window uh, on the Christmas tree, the wood form ornaments, all the things, okay? So today, I'm instead of doing that part, I'm doing this whole square. So it's already cut pretty much through here. Some of these are really good. Um, so I'm just kind of going through here, and I think I'm going to use my scissors now to go ahead and finish this out. And we're going to do something else to this. So what I did for my paint color, because I was trying to match the napkin color, is I took white chalk paint, because I'm about out of plaster, and I mixed it with... Um, I mixed it with Deco Art Khaki. Deco Art Khaki. So I mixed it with my white chalk paint to get this color. And then we're gonna do something else and I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna use some Mod Podge and I'm gonna mix some stain with it to go over this, over the top. And then we're also gonna use this, this honeycomb uh, stencil to do my frame, the, the frame that's going to show around the outside. Now, I call this a spring uh, craft because we raise honeybees and they're, they're um, getting ready. It won't be long, especially here in Houston, Texas, that it's going to be warm enough for them to be out wanting to get their pollen and all the things. So, <clears throat> and we will definitely be making honey this this spring and summer. So, y'all, this is my first time to be in my crafting chair in um, oh, over a week, I guess. A little more than a week because um, we have had a couple of tragedies um, or unexpected things in my family. And you might want to save this. So it feels good to be back here. So see how that's looking? I think it fits really good. Okay. All right. Now, if you had a frame that's square like that, you could even use 
that to put over this. Okay, so we're gonna put we're gonna put our also I did a purse with these with this napkin. So you can look in my photo gallery and see where I did for my moderator and friend, Miss Debbie Dal Burton, and she might be on here. Oh wait. Oh, I thought I saw I thought I saw somebody that I'm trying to reach by phone on here. Um, so this, isn't that going to look gorgeous with our honeybee? Of course, I don't have it centered right now. But, um, so what I want to do right now is move my napkin over. Now I'm getting warm. I was cold a while ago and put on my house shoes. Once I get my feet warm, then I get hot. Okay, so I think it needs to be about right there, except move it up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is mark it with my pencil right here. Just put four dots so I kind of know where my Mod Podge is going. So I know to make sure my Mod Podge is covering that much of my area. I'm going to put that back there and put this here and I'm going to check it one more time. You know they say, measure, twi measure twice, cut once. Okay. I think it needs to go over. See, I'm looking at the wings. I think it needs to go over a little more. So inspect twice. Inspect twice. Now I got it too much, a little too much. I know a lot of people eyeball it, but I'm the girl that looks at it. Okay, now I'm going to mark it one more time on this side at least, and I'll do it all. I'll do it all. Okay, also tonight, along with this being uh, auctioned off, I'm going to give away this calendar. Uh, you're enough. 24 calendar. So this will also go in with this. Okay. Now I think it needs to go this way a little bit. Oh well. We'll leave it. Okay. Um, let me do the Mod Podge. We're going to go ahead and get this on there and then we'll then we'll do the the frame. There's Miss Debbie Dow Burton, and she will reply to you guys in my place, and uh, that helps me a lot. Make sure you got, now this here I painted, and I probably just put too much Mod Podge, but this pine wood, when you, when you get it wet with Mod Podge or paint, the fibers will stand up. So when it dried, I took my sandpaper, I took my fine grit sandpaper, which this is 2020, I mean 220, and I sanded it to make that smooth. I want my napkin to be smooth. Now I use these uh, sponges and I, from Dollar Tree, and I cut them, and I use these to do a lot of my paint and Mod Podge, um, and then I can toss it in the trash or I can let it dry and then I use the other side, okay? We're going to iron this, so let me turn my iron on. And we're going to iron this on because it's a flat surface, why not? I don't want no wrinkles. Um, hi, Miss Tracy. I loved your uh, craft this morning. I love it. I'm definitely going to have to make that. I'm all about the big gallon jugs and jars. Y'all, if y'all missed anybody, please go back and watch. And if you're not a part of Crack Around the Clock, you can watch 24-7 there. Replays, no charge to be a part of that group. And the same with Creating All Things. And uh, you can watch some amazing creations and some amazing ladies that you will definitely want to follow. So much you can do to decorate your home without spending a lot of money. Hello, Miss Tony. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Annette. 
I see you. Hello, Miss Cheryl. I've seen a lot of you on today watching a lot of these ladies. Thank y'all so much. Okay, we're just about there, Dre. Okay. I'm going to go kind of like halfway in between these, okay? So. All right, we're going to go right there. Okay. And, y'all, I'm, I'm going through my craft room and cleaning up. And I've got my dining room table full of my florals. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to um, redo things. That felt like wax paper. It says parchment, but it feels like wax paper. Okay. You do not want to use wax paper. Okay. Let's see, are we hot? Look at this little, little bitty iron. My other one's quit on me. This one's from Amazon. I hope it gets hot enough. Let me look. Fingers crossed. Y'all, um, be watching uh, me craft in the future here this next week. I am going to be doing things that... Um, Um, that were my dad's, his coffee cup, his jeans, and things like that. I'm sorry, I, would, I didn't think I would do that. Um, so next week I'm going to be showing y'all how to make memorable things out of, out of things that I have. Because I want to make sure that I have different things all around my home because he lived with me the last two years. And so, okay, that right there didn't stick. But, and it's probably because I didn't put Mod Podge that far. But it's okay because the, um, this here is going to go there. Let's see. Let me see which way. You know, even though these things say they're 12, they're not perfectly 12 by 12. Um, it's hard to see through the tears. Uh, I don't even have tissue in here. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <coughs> Plus, we've been sick since uh, the day after Christmas. My husband came down day after Christmas, and I was the next day. And I think it's the same stuff probably Miss Tracy just is getting over too. <coughs> and I'm I'm almost done with the cough. All right. How does that look? That look good so far? All right. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> now that same color that I did on this tile, I also have on this. And I will do this back. And I've got my logo here somewhere. Uh, oh, here it is. And I'll put my logo on the back for whoever gets it. So it will be completely done around here. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side just a second. Or do I want to... Let's do the honeycomb on here. Let's do the honeycomb. So I have this from, I don't know, Amazon, I think. My dad ordered this. You know, because he was doing the honeybees too outside. So we got this honeycomb, and I want to do this frame in that. And I'm going to mix a little khaki, and I'm going to mix this um, rich espresso metallic a little bit with this khaki. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to mix... No, my nose is running. <laughs> I'm going to mix some of that in this little... My dad never used the cups on his, um, what do you call it? 
Michael. <laughs> he never used the cups. He gave them to me. So, I'll use them. You know, my dad had so much stuff in that bedroom. Craft stuff. Oh, my Lord. I have so much stuff. Okay. Um, I need a... Um, I'll just use this. This little dowel right here, I use it to stir everything. I'm just using this to, <coughs> to darken this uh, khaki just a little bit. Um... And y'all, um, oh, what's the name of it? Ricky Davis, are you watching? My husband may be watching. He just went and saw, oh, I think it's a movie called Beekeeper. He said it was a really good movie about a beekeeper, and he just wanted to be left alone. I've not seen it yet. I was thinking Miss Debbie and I might could go see it. She likes that kind of movie, you know, that's, she likes that kind of movie. So, we need to have a girl's day this week if she's feeling better. She's not been feeling real well. Hey, Miss Sherry, is Rick on? Um, I just remembered the name of it, but... Oh, I got tissue, Sherry. I found the box of tissue up here. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to use this little dauber. I forget what you call them. Spounce, sp oh, spouncers. Anyway, a dauber. <laughs> a dauber. And y'all, I'm not going to hold this straight. I don't want it straight. I want it just where, whichever way, right? I'm just going to do whichever way. Oh, Lord. Be still. Be still. Oh, goodness. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> um, I, need, I need my paper plate right here. So I don't put too much. And I want to do this down the sides also. And I'm thinking about doing the inside of it too. Let me show y'all. See how it's looking? I can line it up. I know the time goes quick. <laughs> it goes quick. Y'all, I had to go to Beaumont, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And uh, I met with uh, Driftwood and Shine, Debbie and Sunshine, and the twins, uh, or, grand, or grandbabies, great-grandbabies. And I asked the Lord for a sign of something uh, about my dad, if the answer was yes. I said, I need a sign, Lord. I'm not going to tell y'all what I was asking, but anyway. And a billboard <laughs> said something about a restaurant since 1941. That was my dad's birth was 1941. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I said, okay, Lord, I'll take that as my answer. And it was so weird because it was only like 
20 minutes after I ask, when, when I'm in my car, I do a lot of praying. Um, and just kind of looking around, you know, at the woodsy areas and stu stuff. And um, it's just such a wonderful, quiet time, you know. And I haven't been out of the house in a while. Um, so, let's see if I can mind this right here. And I'm okay with my paint being like a little lighter in areas and not completely dark. Yes, God is good. He is good. me. I know y'all don't want to listen to me sniffle and sniffle. I grew up and uh, I used to have a lot of allergies and stuff and my mother used to always say, blow your nose. <laughs> and one of the things my mother did too was when we had that cough, you know, and you cough up phlegm, she couldn't stand it if we cough up and, and swallowed it. She wanted us to spit it out. So, guess what? While I was sick, I'm spitting it out, y'all. <laughs> Probably making my husband sick. I'm not going to do the side yet because I'll probably have to do that afterwards but you'll get the idea um, leave that part light and I'm going to do this little corner right here my frame here thing back. All right. Let's see. Do I want it that way or this way? Which way fits the best? I think that one fits. So see how that's looking right now? You love it? Thank you, Diane. Diane, I've seen you on a lot today, girl. Thank you for being, a, being there and watching. Y'all, if y'all want to be notified when I go live, you can put this in the comments and it'll let you know right away that um, you're turned on or that they turned you on. Okay, let me turn this iron off. <clears throat> and um, you can also follow by putting that in the comments and it'll tell you that you're now following and we'll get notifications. If you want my telegram, you can put explanation mark telegram. Okay, all right, now we're going to try something new. I am going to mix um, some Mod Podge, and I'm going to mix some of the stain, which is aged glaze, and with this Mod Podge, and see if I can see what it does to this. I've not done it before. I've done it with the Antique Waverly, but I thought I might try this this glaze. And I should have brought me a, a nose drop, or a syringe. I should have brought me a syringe to get some of this out instead of pouring it. Alright, where's my screwdriver? Right here. 
But anyway, y'all, I'm working on this crap room. Because I'm really wanting to get this thing organized better. I was going to put my craft room in my dad's room. That way I could start fresh. That might have been too much. But we'll see. But I decided that I like that window in there open. And I like that door open, and you can see that extra room from my kitchen and dining room. And so I decided to keep it an extra room. Oh, um, I got it too dark. We'll see. All right. Now, I'm going to get my wax. I'm going to get my clear wax. And... I'm going to put a little wax first. I'm going to put a little wax. This helps um, to take that there and let me rub off in places. This is kind of how you would do furniture. You know, if you were to do um, the furniture in a chalk paint and then you want to use the glaze you would put the wax and then the glaze and then wipe off with the damp cloth kind of thing so that's what I'm doing. We'll see if it works or not. It may not. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to get me chippy brush. You know what? I guess I'll use a, a round one because it'll fit in here. Okay. And I've got my damp cloth right here. I've already damped it. Okay, let's hope. I may have should have done just this, the glaze without the Mod Podge. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll see what it does. I may have to just wipe the whole thing off and just do the glaze. I'm all for trying something new. Uh-oh. My mouse is over here and I touched it and did something. Um, hello, Stacy. If you're new, put exclamation mark new. Welcome, welcome. And I would love for y'all to follow me if you're not already. All right, let's see what happens. I have a feeling that it's not doing much. Yeah, I think that is not working for this. All right. What is that? Oh, here. Okay. All right, so don't do that. Not on here, anyway. And I have a glass surface here, y'all, over this lace. All right. Let me try something different. Let me dry this. I keep hitting something on my mouse.
not doing that. I think what I'm going to do is just do my Tim Holtz. You want to be careful with your heat tool on this because it is plastic. You don't want to hold it too close. So let's just do the Old Faithful Tim Holtz on here. And I think what I'm going to do, I also wanted to do that, um, that stencil on the inside and the outside of this, okay? That's what I want to do. And I don't want to attach this until after I stencil that on there. So, okay. This looks good. This looks good. Distress Oxide Vintage. Yes, this is uh, Distressed Ink. Distressed Ink Vintage Photo. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for helping. Anybody helping with answering questions? also have one here that's kind of yellow. This one right here is wild honey, but it's an orangey yellow. I may do the edge of the inter frame here, and I'm going to use some jute to go along this uh, pick -a boo thing. Give it a little contrast. Okay, we just about got it. what this does on this inside. I don't think you're going to be able to tell much. It's a little bit brighter. In fact, the, that um, bag, that canvas bag that I did with this napkin, Miss um, Debbie Dal Burton has that bag because she's known as Queen Bee. She calls me Speed Bee because I speeded everything I do. In fact, she was with me when I got a ticket. <laughs> when we were gone to the Texas retreat. Yeah. All right, trying to get somebody to the airport. All right, here we go. So, what y'all think? So far, so far, we got still greenery and and um, all the things. So, if we do this, let's see, I may not. I even thought about putting this jute on the inside corner here which that I will do for sure because that helps cover you know the seam and all I will do that um, 
Okay, the problem is I can't put this down yet. So, hmm. Okay, maybe I won't do that inside edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down so I can put that, so we can put the greenery so y'all can see what you're bidding on. Okay, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm going to use some of my Fabri-Tac and some hot glue. I'm doing it like caulking, y'all, in this corner. Oops. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get down in there. Get down in there. Okay. There we go. Also, you uh, it's good to let that hot glue sit there just a little bit before you stick that down because this is plastic. So that worked out great. Okay. All right. This here's got a little booger on it, so I'm going to cut that and I'm not going to use that piece. Okay, so I'm going to have some stems up here, so I'm going to go ahead and do this corner, and my little handy dandy tool. String. You are doing a great job of keeping up. Oh, thank you, Shelly. And you do a great job when Miss Debbie's not around. You are awesome. And I love that you just jump in and you just get her done. I've got some amazing angels in my community. So there is a rope there, or jute inside, okay? All right. Now, you could do a rubbing buff in there to add a little more extra stuff and all the things. All right, let me get my green right here. And let's see. So I don't know. I'm just uh, playing around. Let's see what we want to do.
Oh, you know what? I need to do the... Uh, I was going to do this. Whose birthday? Happy birthday! Let's see. I was going to do something like this here. Like a backdrop. This here mesh was from Hobby Lobby. This big, long, I mean this big roll of ribbon. And I like it. I like to use it on my canvas bags for nautical. And I just think it goes with this bee honeycomb thing. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of that. And then I was thinking of doing this here. And then maybe I'll stick some of those stems behind it. That is hot. Do y'all think this... I don't know if that goes with it or not. I really need to get more ribbon, but, you know... if I like this. Do y'all like the black and white? Thank you, Gail. Does the black and white look okay? I didn't want to go too big with it um, on a bow. Because not everybody may like a bow. But, let's see. And I also got some Totally Dazzled to go in the uh, center of it. That is... I got a butterfly. Okay, y'all, I'm going over a little bit. I'm glad I prepped what I did. But anyway, I've got the different plaids, little flower. Hi, Donna. No, not black and white. The ribbon. Um, well, I don't have anything else planned. Um, I mean, I've got, let's see, let me see what else I got here. I put it all up. I got leopard. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, we're just going to go with it. I think I'm going to put the, the flower with the little rhinestone in the center. I'm 
right there in the center. All right, now let me see. This come from at home. It was $7.99, but it was marked down a lot. It was marked down a lot. Um, and you know, honeybees love their flowers, so let's just see. Let's just see if we put a flower. Let's see, I'm going to shorten this. I think I'll put this down this side. And I'll just have to cut this short. I think it might have looked better down that side. I think that looks good. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm indecisive if I like that or not. Get this laid right, right, laid right, right there. Let's see. Okay. Love it. Thank you, Miss Shelley. That's, I think this is too much. This is too much. Yep, that's too much. Okay. Let me get one more. Almost there, y'all. That one's too long. I'm going to do this one. No, I'm going to... Oh, well. I'll do this one. Keep that price tag on there so I know where I got it. Cut this really short. Again, these were from Home Goods. That one's gonna go. There we go. That looks good. one down. Hold that. Okay. Now, I could do some totally dazzle on the bee if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to not do that. And this could sit in a um, plate holder. Or it can have a sawtooth uh, hanger on the back. 
hold it up close. Okay. I don't know which way I need to move. <laughs> I think this way, even though the camera's, you know. So. Thank y'all. Okay, so, um, let's see. Okay, we'll start a bid. We'll go ahead and start a bid, and we'll do for two minutes. Let me get my timer. I got a timer here somewhere. Oh, you know what? I'll do my phone. Um, I'm trying to think. Did I put everything I wanted to do? think we did. All right, let me get my timer. Where's my, oh, here it is. Timer. So we're going to do two minutes. No, not hours. <laughs> not hours. Uh, two minutes. How do you get the hours to zero? Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, we're going to start a two-minute timer. We're going to start it at $20, and I am paying the shipping, okay? And time starts, okay? And let me turn my sound on so y'all can hear it when it stops. So we'll start at $20, and again, this goes to help Miss Elizabeth, the single mom, and she is uh, three. She has three children. Just started her job at the bank and did not have coverage, and she had a severe stroke. And she is in a rehab facility because she cannot be at home on her own yet. And so, all of these proceeds from today's event is going to help her with those kids. So we've got thirty dollars. It looks like with Miss Crystal. And, of course, this will be according to what I see on my side. $40, Miss Lisa. $35 is Tony. Miss Lisa's the highest at $40 from what I can see. $40 is the highest for, uh, for Miss Lisa. $45 for Nadia. Uh, 50 for Stacy. We've got 40 seconds. 50 for Stacy. 55 for Tracy's uh, Crafty Creations. 55 is the highest. We got 25 seconds. 55 is the highest. Miss Annette. Uh, you got to beat the 55 already uh, currently there for Miss uh, uh, Miss Tracy or Miss wait who was it Miss Tracy <laughs> um, so Miss Tracy at 55 is a 60 for Miss Susie okay time is up Miss Susie if I'm saying your name correct um, Miss Susie Elmer. Um, if you will, the link is in the description above for the PayPal to make your payment. Um, are you able to do the PayPal, uh, payment? You can screenshot your payment to me and private message me, and then I can get, and you give me your mailing address. So, um, that is the way you would make that, um, payment, okay? And, um, that will be directly to... Miss Elizabeth for, for her, okay? So thank y'all so much for being here and making this a great event today. Um, we appreciate you all being here and being here to support me back in my craft chair, in my craft room. It felt good to be back and crafting, and I hope to see more of y'all also next week. So again, um, thank you for doing this. If we got... 50 of these tonight, there will be that bundle of napkins that has this B napkin in there. And if we did 100, then there'll be two winners. And then if anybody was new, put explanation mark new. 
And if you want to be notified when I go live, if you would put explanation mark notify, or if you'd like to follow me, you can put this. And if you would like my telegram, put explanation mark telegram. So thank y'all for making our quarterly event such a success, and I hope that y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and remember, you can watch the replays if you missed anything. All in our group, Creating All Things, are on Craft Around the Clock. So thank you all, and good night.